The interplanetary dust cloud, or zodiacal cloud, consists of cosmic dust small particles floating in outer space that pervades the space between planets within planetary systems such as the solar system. This system of particles has been studied for many years in order to understand its nature, origin, and relationship to larger bodies. In our solar system, the interplanetary dust particles have a role in scattering sunlight and in emitting thermal radiation, which is the most prominent feature of the night sky's radiation with wavelengths ranging 5 to 50 micrometers. The particle sizes of grains characterizing the infrared emission near Earth's orbit typically range 10 to 100 micrometers. The total mass of the interplanetary dust cloud is approximately the mass of an asteroid of radius 15 kilometers with density of about 2.5 grams per cc. Straddling the zodiac along the ecliptic, this dust cloud is visible as the zodiacal light in a moonless and naturally dark sky and is best seen toward the sun's direction during astronomical twilight. The Pioneer spacecraft observations in the 1970s linked the zodiacal light with the interplanetary dust cloud in Earth's solar system. Topic: <inaudible> Origin <inaudible> <inaudible> The sources of interplanetary dust particles IDPs include at least, asteroid collisions, cometary activity and collisions in the inner solar system, Kuiper belt collisions, and interstellar medium grains Backman, D. 1997. Indeed, one of the longest standing controversies debated in the interplanetary dust community revolves around the relative contributions to the interplanetary dust cloud from asteroid collisions and cometary activity. Topic. Life cycle of a particle The main physical processes affecting destruction or expulsion mechanisms interplanetary dust particles are, expulsion by radiation pressure, inward pointing Robertson, PR radiation drag, solar wind pressure with significant electromagnetic effects, sublimation, mutual collisions, and the dynamical effects of planets Backman, D. 1997. The lifetimes of these dust particles are very short compared to the lifetime of the solar system. If one finds grains around a star that is older than about 10 million years, then the grains must have been from recently released fragments of larger objects, i.e. they cannot be leftover grains from the protoplanetary disk Backman, private communication. Therefore, the grains would be later generation dust. The zodiacal dust in the solar system is 99.9% .9 later generation dust and 0.1% intruding interstellar medium dust. All primordial grains from the solar system's formation were removed long ago. Particles which are affected primarily by radiation pressure are known as beta meteoroids. They are generally less than 1.4 times 10 minus 12 grams and are pushed outward from the Sun into interstellar space. Topic. Cloud structures The interplanetary dust cloud has a complex structure reach, w, Apart from a background density, this includes at least eight dust trails. The source is thought to be short-period comets. A number of dust bands, the sources of which are thought to be asteroid families in the main asteroid belt. The three strongest bands arise from the Themis family, the Coronis family, and the Aeos family. Other source families include the Maria, Eunomia, and possibly the Vesta and or Hygia families reach Al, 1996. At least two resonant dust rings are known, for example, the Earth resonant dust ring, although every planet in the solar system is thought to have a resonant ring with a wake. Jackson and Zook, 1988, 1992, Dermot, SFA Al. 1994, 1997. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Dust collection on Earth. In 1951, Fred Whipple predicted that micrometeorites smaller than 100 micrometers in diameter might be decelerated on impact with the Earth's upper atmosphere without melting. 
The modern era of laboratory study of these particles began with the stratospheric collection flights of D. E. Brownlee and collaborators in the 1970s using balloons and then U-2 aircraft, although some of the particles found were similar to the material in present-day meteorite collections, the nanoporous nature and unequilibrated cosmic average composition of other particles suggested that they began as fine-grained aggregates of nonvolatile building blocks and cometary ice. The interplanetary nature of these particles was later verified by noble gas and solar flare track observations. In that context a program for atmospheric collection and curation of these particles was developed at Johnson Space Center in Texas. This stratospheric micrometeorite collection, along with presolar grains from meteorites, are unique sources of extraterrestrial material not to mention being small astronomical objects in their own right available for study in laboratories today. Topic. Experiments Spacecraft that have carried dust detectors include Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11, Ulysses heliocentric orbit out to the distance of Jupiter, Galileo Jupiter orbiter, Cassini Saturn orbiter, and New Horizons see Venetia Burney student dust counter. <laughs> see also